What's up, Fight Fans? This is Sav from Global Fight Talk. I'm here at the T Mac Elite Training Gym. I'm here with Jared King. He's getting ready to make his MMA debut. Jared, how you doing today? What's going on, brother? Nice to meet you. Yeah, man. Nice to meet you too. So you're getting ready to make your MMA debut. Uh, you've had some amateur boxing fights. What's the transition been like getting ready for the MMA fight? Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's been tough. Uh, just incorporating a lot of new things. Uh, I do feel like I have a, a more confident striking game, but when it comes to getting on the ground and you know getting up from there and you know fighting off of your back, that's a whole different level of experience that I had to you know tap into and start learning more. So opening up my mind to learning that has been a learning curve. Yeah. And so you've been training your ground game and and Muay Thai kickboxing and all that. Yes, sir. Uh, so I, I actually had uh, a coach that I was training with before I started boxing uh, in Arkansas was my Muay Thai coach. So shout out to Coach Jake. Big shout out to Coach Jake. So uh, now you're training at the uh, T Mac Elite Training Gym. Uh, can you talk about Tony and what he's done for you as you're developing your, as a fighter? Man, Coach T Mac, he gives a lot of game. And if you don't pick up on it, uh, I mean, I feel sorry for those who don't have that kind of coaching staff. You know, Coach T Mac has been a fighter, um, you know, and then getting into the coaching game as a fighter, you know, what your fighters are going through. So his experience actually like motivates a lot of the guys on the team, guys and gals, um, and just puts us in a, in, a, in a place where we can feel more comfortable, you know, listening to him. Yeah, and uh, so you got on the uh, Team Combat League, the uh, Dallas Enforcers team. Uh, you're getting ready to possibly compete with them. Can you talk about that, the Team Combat League and the format? Yeah, the, the team concept is actually um, – I, I like it. Um, I think there's I think there's a few kinks that needs to be worked out, but the the one round is more enticing for us because you know we're we're always up for challenges and stuff like that. So as a boxer, you're always looking for new ways to challenge yourself. So the one round platform, like, kind of really just changes the whole way that we even train now. Right. It's it's more of a sprint than a marathon, right? And uh, do you think that makes for better fights and as, as the events go along? Um, it really just depends on the fighters because, you know, fighters that are just now getting into it or fighters that have already been in the league, there's different, like I said, levels of experience. So the guys that are, that are experienced with knowing what that pace feels like, uh, they may have a leg up uh, compared to somebody who hasn't or they just been doing regular boxing rounds or they're, or they're preparing for like 12-round fights. So they may be a little bit more relaxed in their strategy, whereas the guys who've been doing the one-round uh, platform, they've just been, you know, gas pedal, gas pedal. But it's, it's still st strategic, but you have less time to work with. Right. And um, back to your MMA de debut, um, you're fighting on XKO, correct? Um, what are you looking forward to the most in your MMA debut? Um, just opening up, man. I think, I, I think for me, I've been wanting to do it for a while, just kind of – uh, I'm a martial arts fan. I ain't gonna lie to you. I didn't. I didn't grow up watching boxing. I grew up watching martial arts films like Jet Li, Jackie Chan. You know Tony Ja. That's where I kind of got the idea to try Muay Thai and different things like that. So that's what I grew up watching. I didn't start watching boxing later on in life. Uh, I mean, I, I caught. I caught like a lot of boxing like as I was growing up. But what what really drew me to fighting was the martial arts. And uh, last thing. <clears throat> Tell the people at home, uh, the viewers, why they should tune in to your MMA debut on XKO. Man, y'all should tune in because it's going to be some of the most exciting fighting you'll see in a long time. Right on. Eagle right on. Well, thank y'all for tuning in. Sapping Global Fight Talk.